Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square plus 4 into y equals to sine 2x. Solution. Given differential equation. d square plus 4 into y equals to sine 2x. Now let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here. D squared is the highest derivative. So 2 will be our order. Since 2 is order, we'll get two constants in this problem. And the highest power of the highest derivative is 1. So 1 will be the degree. Degree is the highest power of the highest derivative. Fine. Or just write this equation as d square y plus 4y equals to sine 2x. You know the differential operator d equals to d by dx. Then d square can be written as d square by dx square. Right. Now we'll write d square y as d square y by dx square plus 4y equals to sine 2x. Now identify the highest derivative here. d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1, right? So we got the equation or we are having the equation which is an operator form. F of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square plus 4 and q equals to sine 2x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given non-homogeneous equation using y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply take RHS to 0 then we will get f of d into y equals to 0 which is the homogeneous equation of the non-homogeneous equation. And we will find yp using 1 by f of d into q. So firstly let's find the complementary function using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d equals to d square plus 4 for m for d equals to m we'll have f of m equals to m square plus 4 now our auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 4 equals to 0 now we can find rules in two ways We have auxiliary equation m square plus 4 equals to 0, right? Now, just write this as m square equals to minus 4. Then m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 4. Write square root of minus 4 as minus of, sorry, square root of minus 1 into 4. And you can split this as minus 1 into square root of minus 1 into square root of 4. We know that square root of minus 1 equals to i and square root of 4 equals to 2. Then we can write this as square root of minus 1 can be replaced by i and square root of 4 can be replaced by 2 which is equals to plus or minus 2i. Right? Now let's see another method. We can write this plus 4 as minus of minus 4. Then m square minus, write minus 4 as minus 1 into 4 equals to 0. Right? We know that 
i square equals to minus 1 and 2 square equals to 4. So we can replace minus 1 by i square and 4 by 2 square. Now let's write i square into 2 square as 2i whole square. This is the a square minus b square form. So you can write this as a plus b into a minus b. Now equate each factor to 0. If m plus 2i. Okay. Now from m plus 2i equals to 0 we will get m equals to minus 2i. And from m minus 2i equals to 0 we will get m equals to 2i. Right. Then m equals to minus 2i and plus 2y or m equals to plus or minus 2y right so therefore m equals to plus or minus 2y are the roots of Our auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0 which are purely imaginary right or complex conjugate If a plus ib is a complex number, then its conjugate will be a minus ib. Likewise, if a minus ib is a complex number, then its conjugate will be a plus ib. Right? In the case of real part 0, the complex conjugate of plus ib will be minus ib. Here also, conjugate of minus ib is plus ib. Right? If we have complex roots, say, a plus or minus ib then yc is given by e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin dx in the case of real part 0 we'll get e power 0 into x of c1 cos bx plus c2 sin dx then we'll get e power 0 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin dx Right? Since e power 0 is 1, then we will get 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Right? That means we will get y is equals to c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Now let's write complementary function to our problem using this formula. yc equals to for b equals to 2 you'll get yc equals to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x now let's find particular integral we know that Particular is given by yp equals to 1 by f of d into q for f of d d is squared plus 4 into q sine 2x. So this is of 1 by f of d into sine ax form. Now for a equals to 2, we'll find d square which is given by minus a square for a equals to 2, you'll get minus 2 square equals to minus 4. Now let's see what happens if we replace d square in the denominator. Always remember that denominator must be non-zero. Okay. Replace g square by minus 4, you will get minus 4 plus 4 into sine 2x. is so equals to 1 by 0 into sine 2x. 1 by 0 is undefined. So it becomes undefined. So we can't use this. So what we have to do? We'll write 1x into 1 by, find the derivative of f of d. 
if f of d equals to d square plus 4, then f dash of d will be derivative of d square is 2d plus derivative of a constant is 0, which is equal to 2d, right? We will get 2d into sine 2x. Again, you can write this as x by 2 into 1 by d into sine 2x. Here, 1 by d is a integral operator or we can say it as, call it as inverse of differential operator. Find the integral of sine 2x. which is equal to x by 2 into integral sine 2x is minus cos 2x by 2 which becomes minus x cos 2x by 2 to the 4 or you can write it as minus x by 4 into cos 2x. Now coming to general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp then y equals to we have yc c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x and yp minus of x y4 into cos 2x. This completes the problem. See we got two constants. Order is two so we'll get two constants. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.